Constable Daryl Rice of uh, Durham Region Police uh, Services. So, Daryl, this is your third time with us this, this year. So uh, you've been uh, you're one of the pioneers of us. So um, you look at things a little bit different, and while everybody else kind of runs to groceries and some other things, you've got some different needs. So. Maybe tell me a little bit about what uh, what you guys are trying to do. Yeah, you know, Dave, um, like what we were discussing earlier. Um, first of all, I mean, we're celebrating our 30th anniversary of the original Police Food Employee Drive, which, you know, is uh, pretty remarkable to know that we've had the community to support us that many years. But um, for my third time, you know, with you guys, you know, I go directly to the, as I call it, you know, the essential baby aisle here. And the reason is such is that um, when I look at the amount of donations that come into us, you know, on a, on a daily basis, you know, toys are a very easy thing to, to go and just pick up something for a child or to go down the aisle and pick up a can of soup. But the reality is, is that this stuff's really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I don't want to say every single year we, we start here and at some point in time I get choked up because, yeah. because I see it firsthand going to the calls, you know, or, or going to make these deliveries. And if you don't have the financial you know, background or ability to, to buy these things for, for your child, you, know, you can just appreciate like where you're going to get it from. So that's where I go because you know, knowing that I have the support of you guys to say, hey, you, know, you can pick whatever you want and, and we're going to take care of it. And this is where I go because I know if I can take a little bit of stress off a of mom for whether it's for <clears throat> For one month, um, two months, or even for the agencies yeah. that I give it to, then I know that's a good thing. So, you know, I know the other places will pick up on, on all yeah. the, the soup and the pastas and stuff. This is where I go, and as much as I can jam in there, knowing that I can help it on you know, a single mall, yeah. then, then you know what? Again, and I'm just a deliverance because yeah. of your generosity and our dealership's generosity that I get to be able to do that for those moms and you know, those, for those families who really need it. So, this is where I am, and that's yeah. why it's important. That's awesome. So, you and I were talking uh, for a minute before this. Um, you guys, this is a really busy time for you and the, the, um, a lot of the pickup uh, depots and locations that you guys are at. So where are you? Uh, where can people find you in the next uh, in the next week or two? Yeah, actually, uh, this weekend we've got a big weekend ahead of us. Uh, we're going to be at the, uh, the Sobeys uh, uh, grocery store just at uh, Wilson and Taunton uh, from 10 until 2 on Saturday doing a stuff a cruiser event. And then uh, on Sunday we're going to be at the Fresh Co. and Bono. They'll do the same sort of thing. And then on Sunday myself, I'll be uh, in the Oshawa Centre yeah. um, at the Old Navy and uh, from 12 until 4. And again, the reason for there is that we're really focusing on, on hoping that we can get some uh, some donations for our team. So yeah. a busy weekend for us. If anybody's looking for us, please let them. That's where we're going to be. And, you know, otherwise, you know, again, if you have a donation you want to make, please you know, just visit any other fire halls anywhere yeah. in the city of Oshawa, our police station, you yeah. know, and base our fire stations from Bowmanville all the yeah. way to, uh, to Ajax. So again, like I said, it's, we're, you know, we're getting close to that whole yeah. stretch, and next week will be organized chaos. But again, I'm, uh, I'm humbled again to be considered this year for our yeah. police service and for our charity. And again, I want to thank you very much yeah, for inviting me back. Our pleasure. Thanks so much for everything Thanks you do. Friend. Okay, All we'll right. talk soon. Can you tell me, tell us a little bit about, you know, who you're, who you're reaching out to, what, what your needs are for the year, and how people can, uh, can contribute? Sure. So we're on 707 Simcoe Street, and we're co-located with some other agencies. Um, and we also got our children's mental health accreditation this year. Okay. So we're an accredited children's mental health center. So we work with young families. We have a, a male counselor who works with our fathers and he does a fathering program. Mm -hmm. We do um, school program, prenatal classes. We do an attachment program when you're pregnant called Early Connections. Then we do all kinds of parenting programs. We do infant massage and we do individual supportive counseling around that bond between parent and child. Mm -hmm. So our young families, the mums are all 26 and under. Uh, how can people reach out and donate or drop off goods or what's the easiest way to, to reach out to you guys? So the easiest way is to either email us um, at Rose of Durham, Rose of Durham at roseofdurham.com. People can either phone us 905-432-3622, look us up on the yeah. internet. Um, and again, we have a new location. Often our clients need bus tickets to get to and from appointments, so you can support that way. Um, through bus tickets. So we also offer a snack during the program so that mm -hmm. mom, the moms and the babies can just relax and sure. take part in the program and have a nice snack. So yeah. There are different ways in which um, you know, the community can support the program. And volunteers. Yes. We always need uh, volunteers, especially child care volunteers. Yes. So for our, many of our clients don't have babysitters or family that can help out. So if you want to volunteer and look after babies so mom can attend a parenting program, that would be great.
great. So, what's the head? So, what, one, one of our challenges is getting meats and peanut butters into our locations. There's such a high end product that yes. you don't always get them. So, I'm always pushing to have the most wanted list. It's always on my list peanut butter, meat, and crackers. Okay. If you put those two together, you actually have Absolutely, a meal. Absolutely, sure. And then, of course, we add the bread to it. Oh, it's a party in your mouth. So, um, we, do, uh, we do have a lot of families that we do have to service. Sure. Um, for Christmas yeah. this year, we're aiming at a thousand families. Okay. To service. And that goes from a large family of seven to a large family of two or a family of three. So what's, uh, for that family, what's included in your in your hamper for that family? So we'll start with peanut butter, of course. Yeah. We do coffee. We do meats. We do rice. Uh, craft dinner. Juices. You yeah. name it. It's on that fruit can. So we yeah. make sure that they have a balanced diet. Yeah. So everything is in there. Christmas is a big time of year because there's so much going on. But this is a this is a 365 day a year For me, event, yes. right? So. Other than Christmas, which is big, what's the what, what are your big needs for the year, and, and how can people reach out, donate, and contribute? So and toilet space. paper, anything for hygiene products, because a lot of people think it's a food bank. You don't give out those kind of things. Sure. But that's a huge need. That's what, those are the things that we take for granted, but we do get them. But that's what we push for when we're pushing outside of getting the food. So that's what we need: hygiene products, hygiene product, baby food, hygiene products. Because we also do have kids that also need to survive at least for one year. Yeah. At least. <laughs> right? So, baby awesome. food hygiene product. So, thank you so much. Oh, it's our, it's our pleasure. Yes? Yes. So, we are the yep. only food hub in Durham right. region. So, we, uh, we support 63 different agencies throughout the region. Right. Geographically, we go from Ajax Pickering through to Bowmanville North as far as Beaverton, Sunderland, Canada. Yep. And all of these resources, and they are food banks, they are shelters, they are school programs, they are community agencies, they all draw on our reserves. So our goal is to bring in as much food as we can, and when we say that, we want to access free food in the community. Sure. So this is food that is not fit for resale. Right. Um, it is provided to us by manufacturers, it's provided to us by distribution centers in Durham right. region. Um, so the idea is to, to access large quantities of food, we bring it into our warehouse, we sort it, we store it, we move it, and we get it out to these agencies. Yeah. So an example would be I recently received a phone call, somebody has 16 skids of tomato sauce to donate, right. which is phenomenal. But a food bank can't handle sure. that quantity of yeah. food, so that's where the food hub comes yeah. in. So we'll bring it in, we'll deal with it, we'll get it in Durham region, distribute it there, that's great. If we can't, then we share with our neighbors who are in the adjacent community. One of the reasons we wanted to do this is we wanted to get right in the grocery store and take people right into the sections where we're pulling stuff off the shelves and filling carts. This is kind of the stuff that you need. So for you guys this time of year, what are the biggest demands or the things that you need the most? Going after some luxury items today. Sure. Uh, that would include deodorant, yeah. shampoo, toothpaste, coffee, right. and canned meat because we can never have a canned meat. The, the stores, we build them now. Come August, there will be big empty holes on our shelves where we are just going to be without the protein, uh, the, the peanut butter, the canned meat. Those kind of things. Right. That's awesome. So how can uh, how can people donate? How can they contribute? What, uh, what's the easiest way to, to reach out to? Certainly they can go on. We can, we're always happy we're also to take cash donations. Okay. So they can go on to our website at uh, .ca okay. and can link into our Canada Help site. They can uh, do food drives. This time of year we've got a ton of food drives going by going into January and February things slow down and we need to continue to fill our shelves. We can always run third party events trying to raise funds that donate funds back to us. Cash always goes a long way. Sure. One dollar we can distribute seven dollars worth of food with that. So it, um, that, give us a call, um, tweet, we're on Twitter, we're yeah. on uh, Facebook, reach out to us and uh, talk to us, ask about how you can help as far as raising funds or raising food. Awesome. So, yeah. Tell us a little bit about, um, about what your needs are this time of year um, and how people can help out. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you'll see that we are starting from the bottom yep. and working our way up. We have a lot of dairy products, so milk and butter yep. and margarine are yep. always our biggest needs. We're always going out having to purchase it because it is hard to donate milk just because it does have an expired date. Yeah. Um, but it's it's something that we need year round, all the time. Right. So I was very happy when this came out. It was like, okay, 
we can do our milk run. Sure. And your motor yeah, yeah. can take yeah. care of that Excellent, for Excellent, for sure. Um, and then you'll see that we have a lot of meat as well. So this time, around around this time of year, we always want, you know, ham, ground chicken, and everything else. So people are thinking turkey kind of top of mind. Yeah. Um, but I always say kind of dig outside of that too, because we have chicken breast here as well. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking that too. And then around this time of year, we also do a hamper for right. our patrons. So yeah. for the men and women that come to their kitchen, but the children that come into our kitchen sure. too. So we do a kids Christmas party. Right. Um, so that's where all the chocolate and everything is Excellent. for. Yeah. And the toothbrushes and toothpaste is for our patrons as well. So that's looking we're kind of lacking this year. Right. We're going to hit up some mittens and stuff as well. So we're always looking for warm winter gear to give away to them. Sure. And some of the kitchen essentials that we always need is our wax paper and right. our tin foils. And that's something that people don't kind of think about to sure. donate, they're always, you know, grabbing canned goods to give to us as well. But, um, but yeah, so that's where a lot of our needs come from. So we have our soup kitchen portion. Right. So we serve a hot meal at dinner time, 365 days a year. Right. Um, we don't close for New Year's or Christmas or right. anything like that because people need to have a place to go. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of that, we also distribute food, food to organizations within the community. So with this question about the the soup kitchen so mm -hmm. how are you for for volunteers and, and people helping out is there is there need and demand for that as well so we have over a thousand volunteers every single month we're okay. always looking for more groups to come in so okay. it's always around this time of year that people want to come in and volunteer but it's the summertime right where we need the majority of the volunteers so june july august when it is beautiful outside and people want to be out there yeah um that's when we need a lot of volunteers it's during that time of year yeah because everyone's in the giving spirit right now for sure. Mm -hmm. Kind of year over year outreach, are you finding, is it changing much? Is it going up, going down? Or what's, how's it? Uh, so we we found that we actually have more children under right. age of 16 coming into the kitchen. Okay. So that's actually grown by 30%. Wow. Um, so it's not something that we want to see, but I'm yeah. glad that we're here to, to help them out. So that's where you know, the chocolate and everything else that's in our baskets. It's We do the kids' Christmas party so that we can give them a toy, you know, something Christmas like. So how can people contribute? Where can they where can they go to donate? Can they volunteer their time or to, to just to uh, drop off food? So you can go, yeah. So you can go to germoutlook.com if you okay. want to come in and volunteer. We ask them to fill out a volunteer application sure. beforehand. Yeah. We'll give you a call. We'll let you know what our times are. We'll be have available. Um, as far as donations go, we always need everything that we sign. Um, our website and our Facebook page, which is Durham Outlook. Yeah. Um, you'll find our needs list listed on there. So every month we pretty much post kind of what we're looking for, what we're short of, and you can always go on there and take a look to yeah. donate. But whatever you've got, we'll always take this off. Absolutely. 